2010 and 2011, we had a whole series of earthquakes in Christchurch. 180 people were killed, but it could have been thousands. The way we save lives is by having controlled damage in the buildings. So when the buildings sway on a movement, there is some damage, and it's controlled damage so the building won't collapse. The problem is that the buildings may then have to be demolished. If you go to Christchurch now, the downtown is a wasteland, and what we learned was it's not good enough just to save lives. You have to design buildings so that you also save property. A low damage building is a building which can have some controlled damage, but it's in a place where it can be repaired. They came up with a low damage system for concrete buildings, and we took a look at that and we said, let's try that with wood. At the University of Canterbury, I have some Italian colleagues and they're concrete experts with knowledge about rocking concrete systems. But I was testing wood and we got together and they said to me, why don't we try the rocking system with wood? Every time we get just as good a result, if not better, than we got with reinforced concrete. Press lamb is a name that we've come up with to describe pre-stressed laminated timber. What it is, it's prefabricated beams and columns and walls and when they're manufactured, we leave a cavity in the center of the beam so that we can thread in a steel rod and then we can stress it up and anchor everything together. If you could imagine a building which was built like this, whatever happens to the building, it'll flip back into position. When pre-stressed concrete, you can have straight tendons or you can have draped tendons. And we can do that too. We can run a tendon inside the hollow beam with some deviators so it is a bit like a suspension bridge inside the beam. The first building in the world using this system was a three-storey arts and media building at a, a polytechnic in Nelson, New Zealand. That building had big LVL walls in both directions. It had big beams and columns, and it had a, a timber concrete composite floor. There have been a number of, of buildings, especially in Wellington, from single storey up to three or four storeys, university buildings, commercial office buildings, open plan buildings. The nicest one in New Zealand is a community centre. It's a big open space and it's got press lamb walls around the perimeter, which are all anchored down in this way with, with LVL trusses across the top. And that system could be used for any kind of a, a big box industrial or, or, or retail building. Some of these buildings are what we call hybrid buildings. There's a mixture of wood and concrete and steel. The motivation for developing press lamb was really earthquake related. But what this allows is it allows fast and economical construction. So there are benefits in all parts of the world. The world is moving towards low damage buildings. The exciting thing is we've done enough work so that there are low damage options for wood 